If you're a woman over 40 dealing with hot flashes, insomnia, brain fog, moodiness, or weight gain, you don't have to accept it as just another part of aging. The experts at Midi Health know all these symptoms can be connected to the hormonal changes of menopause. And Midi can help with safe, effective, FDA-approved solutions covered by insurance. 91% of Midi patients get relief from symptoms within just two months. Book your virtual visit today at joinmidi.com. And now for our story. As Mario Descari hurried away from Ben Calvert's office in Wakefield today, the young man was feeling disturbed and irritable. Something Ben said about Mario's wife had started the young Italian off on a train of thought which brought a scowl to his face and an angry grim line to his rather full mouth. And so even though Carla had been looking exceptionally lovely as she waited for him eagerly at the appointed place, Mario had greeted her rather curtly. Now they are in their car heading toward the Discari farm a few miles out of town. Well, what happened today? Did you get the stuff you went into town after? Oh, I had wonderful luck, Mario. I found some lovely material with big red roses on it. Roses and green leaves. It'll be beautiful in the living room. You'll love it. Will I? What makes you think so? Why, well, Mario, you've always liked bright things in the house. And this is very pretty. Why shouldn't you like it? I didn't say I wouldn't. I just asked why you were so sure. Mario, is something wrong? Wrong? What do you think? I don't know. Only you're so, so cranky. Maybe I have reason to be. Then won't you tell me what it is? Did something happen while you were in town today? I don't know whether anything did or not. That's what I was going to ask you. Me? Yes. Suppose you give me the lowdown. Tell me what you did all this time after I left you. Why, sure, I'll tell you, Mario. I was going to write it first. But you were frowning so. I didn't think you felt like talking. <laughs> I don't. I feel like listening. Go ahead, shoot. Tell me everything that happened. Mario, I don't know what's the matter with you. You act so funny. Well, if I'm funny, why don't you laugh? Oh, you know what I mean. Mario, I don't understand. And don't try. Just tell me what happened. All right. There's very little to tell. I had my lunch in the square, like I always do. And I fed the birds. You know, I was telling Aunt Mary, I do believe they remember me. Yeah, they remember you all right. You have a piece of bread for them. No, I think they'd remember me even if I didn't feed them. Anyway, you saw Aunt Mary Lane. Is that it? Mm-hmm. She came along the path. She stopped for a minute, and we had a nice little visit. What about? Oh, you know, the farm. And you, Mario. Mostly, I talk about you. Mm -hmm. Well, go on. What else did you do? What else? Yes, you must have seen people, talked to them. People like Bill Mead. You saw him, didn't you? Well, yes, Mario, I saw him. Then why didn't you say so to begin with? Mario, you're not mad because I saw Mr. Mead and talked to him. Of course not. But I asked you what you did, and you didn't tell me the whole story, that's all. Only because I didn't think about it. Oh, Mario, Mr. Mead, he's a good friend of yours. Sure, he's okay. Then why do you act like this? It just makes me sore, that's all. I ask you a question, you don't give me the true answer. That's not so. I do give you true answers. I always have. Sure, sure, like now, after I warm it out of you. But how do you think I feel when my own wife holds something back? Mr. Calvert hadn't told me he saw you with Mr. Mead, I never would have known anything about it. Mr. Calvert? The father of Mr. Mead's wife? Yeah, she's not his wife anymore. Maybe he'd like to borrow someone else's. Mario, to say a thing like that, to me, to talk like that about Mr. Mead, someone who's done you nothing but kindness and good. I'm ashamed for you. I'm so ashamed I... Oh. oh Carla, baby, I'm, I'm sorry. You ought to be. Doubting your wife. Okay, okay, I said I was sorry. But you're still cross. Why were you with Mr. Calvert? Do you have business with him? He stopped me on the street, asked me in for a beer, that's all. Oh, I see. I wonder why he did that. It's not like him. Why isn't it? But why should he all of a sudden want to talk to you? Mario, you won't sell him any of our land, will you? Of course not. What makes you think I did? He's always wanted it. When you were away, he'd talk to your father. 
I... I don't like him very much, Mario. I feel afraid of him. Afraid? <laughs> oh, there's nothing to be afraid of. No, baby. You got just one thing to be afraid of in this world. And what is that, Mario? Me. You know what I mean. When Mr. Calvert told me about you going off with another man today... Is that what he said? Sure. And I tell you, I saw red for a minute. Then he said it was a joke. What a joke. Yeah, a joke without a laugh. But then he said it was Bill Mead. And that was different, of course. Yes, Mario. Of course it was. That's why you shocked me so just now, the way you talked. Sure, I know. Mr. Mead's okay, but just the same after that idea got into my head about you with another man. Well, even though it was Mr. Mead, I, I couldn't forget it. Why, well, I, I can't help it, baby. I'm, I'm like that about, about you and me. Mario, there's only one man for me. Only one, Mario. It's always been like that, and you know it. Sure, sure. You do believe me, don't you? Yeah, baby. I believe you. You must, Mario. Otherwise... Otherwise what? How can we live otherwise? If you love a person, you've got to trust them. It's no good if you don't. It makes everything dirty, ugly. We don't want that to happen to us, do we, Mario? No, baby, no, of course not. Oh, you think I'm crazy? And don't you understand? We can't be like this. Suspicious, not trusting. It's bad, Mario. Something bad will happen to us if we do not trust each other. All the time you were away, overseas, fighting, I had just one thought in my heart. Let Mario come back to me. Let him come back strong, like he was when he went away. I didn't see anyone, hardly. Just Angelina, the family. You're all I want, Mario. All I need. And with me, it's the same, Carla. Just you. Instead of going anywhere, I'd stay home and write you a letter. That way, I felt as if I was talking to you, Mario. You see? Yeah, Carla. It was like that with me, too. Then will you stop being so foolish? It makes me unhappy when you're like this. It makes me want to cry. Oh, no, baby, sweet. Don't. Don't cry. I'm a heel. I guess I ought to have my head examined. That I know better. And, and then when someone starts talking about you, when I think of you with another guy, I, I just can't stand it. It's like fire burning me. I know, Mario. And that's what worries me. I see it. I see what it does to you. And it frightens me. I wake up at night. You're there beside me. I can hear you breathing, and when I look at your face, it's like a little boy. So peaceful, so gentle. I think if only Mario could always be like that. Oh, I want to be, sweetheart. Honest, I do, but... Maybe I love you too much. Oh, no, Mario. You couldn't love me too much. It's not that. The loving is good. But if you could only trust me as much as you love me. Mario, will you try to? Please? Yes, baby, I'll try. Oh, Mario, if only you would. Yes, baby doll. Yes, I'll try. You'll see. Come close to me, Carla. I'll drive with one hand. Put your head on my shoulder, baby. There. Now I'm happy, Mario. So happy. Carla Descari sighed, closed her eyes. Yes, everything was all right now, Carla thought. But I wonder, Carla, if you are as secure as you think. For today, Ben Calvert saw the dark look which flashed across your husband's face at the thoughts of your being with another man. Ben Calvert saw that flash of anger, Carla, and remembered it. It gave him an idea which might destroy the love which you and Mario feel for each other. 